This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hello, this is Mike Parkinson for Creative Pro. This is a sneak peek at my super simple slide design session for the Design and PowerPoint Summit, February 16th through the 17th. The first thing I'm gonna do is drop in a photograph. This photograph I got from iStock Photo. I'm gonna scale that photograph up so that it fills the screen, it's full bleed. And I'm gonna make it black and white. To make a photograph black and white, you simply click on it, go to picture format, choose color, and one of your options is going to be able to desaturate it and make it black and white, and that's exactly what we did here. So I'm gonna take that photograph, I'm gonna make it black and white, and then I'm gonna drop in a text box, and I'm going to format my text, drop, put my text in, I'm gonna format that text to look any way that I choose. I'm then gonna drop in a parallelogram and insert my logo for brand standards. I'm gonna add a pop of color in there using the pen tool, so I'm just gonna draw a red line across there. Then I'm gonna take these same assets because it's all about super simple slide design, so I'm gonna take these same assets and use them to create my content slide. So the title's gonna stay in there, the photograph is gonna stay in there, the logo's gonna stay in there, and even and that line is gonna stay in there. So what I do is I really just shift everything around. I can then use the crop to shape tool in PowerPoint. So one of the options when you crop something is to crop to a shape. So I'm simply cropping this image to a shape to get that really nice effect. I'm then going to drop in a text box, format it any way that I want, and add a little bit more color or embellishment if it aligns with my brand standards or what I'm trying to achieve. You can then use all of the other built-in effects within PowerPoint to add visual interest, to keep things fresh. You're not limited to one shape. You can change the shape to a triangle, a parallelogram, a circle, a rectangle, anything that you want that makes sense. I can then move elements around to, again, keep it fresh, add visual interest, draw your eye where I want them to go in the slides, add that color to add visual interest again. You can also add some imagery. There's some great products out there. There's the Noun Project, Build-A-Graphic, um, there's Pexels and Pixabay. There's great resources out there. Take advantage of them. If you liked what you just saw and you want to learn more, there's way more from people way, way better and smarter than I am. Please, please join us at the Design and PowerPoint Summit on February 16th through the 17th. I really look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.